actually know Digby personally, but I thought this was an open mic and I haven't made any much stage time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I took many classes with Digby. Um, the first one was my second semester here, and it was a 500 level class, and I remember I had to talk my way into it, and I, I got to brag to all the other theater kids that I was only a freshman taking a 500 level class, and that it was way easier than all the 100 level classes. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> Digby was awesome, and uh, that poem, The Kids Who Are Different, the first time I heard that poem, I had actually moved out to Chicago after college, I was out there for about a year, um, pretty broke, pretty depressed. My mom called me, and she was reading Goldie Hawn's biography. And she said, I found this quote from your professor, Digby Wolf, and she read that to me. It couldn't have came at a better time, because uh, I was still a kid. I'm still a kid. I want to always be a kid. And I think that's something that Digby kind of hopefully installed into all of us. Um, and my buddy Carl, who's here tonight, we, we met through the theater department, did one of Digby's classes together. He texted me this morning and asked if I was dressing somber or like a comedian. Uh, and I don't really know the difference. <laughs> but I dressed like this, like I would in one of Digby's classes, and that was the great thing about Digby's classes, is he accepted everybody, no matter how they dressed, no matter how weird they were, no matter how their feet were in the seats, or their nipples weren't hanging out their shirt. I don't know, he accepted everyone. He almost encouraged us to be freaks. And um, <laughs> I, I loved Digby's classes because it was more than just a class. It was more than just a lecture. He always opened the class with a, a sort of vaudeville act. If you guys remember um, Dusty McGowan, uh, him and Dusty would always do this act at the beginning of class where they brought out a TV and they'd plug it in and they'd try to figure out how the VCR worked. <laughs> and Dusty would finally get the VCR set, and then Digby would walk around the other side and hit the wrong button, and it went on. That's how we spent the first 15 minutes of each class. <laughs> um, uh, and he, I remember once, uh, Al Franken was in town, and they wanted Digby to open for him a few years back, and Digby agreed to do it only under the terms that he got every one of his students in the show for free which is cool because we were all broke and you and tuition. So he got his end to the Al Franken show for free. And that's the heart that Digby had. You know, he was always trying to help others. He was always looking out for others. Um, and it was the same with comedy. That's what he taught. You know, comedy or performing wasn't about getting your funny laughs across. It was about talking from your heart and taking that stuff that's killing you and tearing you up or that stuff you love or that stuff that is bugging you or that girl at work taking that stuff, that pain, that angst, that fun, and making it funny and letting other people laugh at you because they're going to anyways. Might as well laugh at yourself at the same time. And uh, the biggest compliment I ever received, I think one of the biggest ones from anybody, was actually through Digby, third hand. I, I heard it from Carl. He had told my buddy Carl this. Um, I had left. They were talking about me, and he said, Rusty Rutherford, that, that, that kid has balls the size of Volkswagens. <laughs> Um, and it's actually a condition I have, I didn't know what you were <laughs> But that's one thing that has really kept me going, like, when I just see myself slumping back and getting bored and doing the same old stuff, I remember that quote. And I hope all of you guys, whether, I think DB would want you guys, whether you're comedians, businessmen, teachers, um, hairstylist, whatever you do, I think you should remember that and just have the balls the size of a Volkswagen, do it all, falls out for Digby. Love you, Digby. Thanks, guys.